Nigeria has been taken back to 1966, said by Asari Tokubo Omo. Asari Tokubo, the Ofali command, can react to the things where they go on. Since where they go me, I never hear waiting at the year for inside this video. If you never listen to this video, this particular video you guys are seeing on this background, make sure you pay attention to this video so that you will understand everything that is going on in this video. Asari Tokubo <laughs> say Nigeria has been taken back to 1966. May not be like saying that my month. Just enjoy the video and I'll write back. Nigeria has been taken back to nineteen sixty six. The intention of the British colonialists was to make Nigeria a federation. And that's why the national anthem, where no man is oppressed, where no man is oppressed. The national anthem clearly says, Nigeria is a land that no man, where no man is oppressed. The intention of the British when they were leaving was to make Nigeria a federal state. And they left three federating units and a federal capital at Lagos. These federating units were the Eastern Region, the Western Region, and the Northern Region. In 1966, the Midwest was created out of the Western region and it became Midwest, making the regions five, four regions and the federal capital territory, making five federating units. Now, Nigeria was doing well when the calamity of the coup of 1966 came up. The mostly Igbo coup to take over Nigeria for evils. Ifa Jena, Iziago, and so on. That coup led to the emergence of General Agu Ironsi, who promulgated Degree 34, taking away the Federation and bringing into being. This is Degree 34. Can go and read it. This is the greatest disservice ever done to the people of Nigeria. The Great 34. And making Nigeria a unitary state. a crude unitary state. And since then, General Yakubu Gowan's coup of 1960, July 1960, uh, Pretentiously continue to refer to Nigeria as a federation, while in fact Nigeria is a crude, primitive, unitary contraption.
12 battle stands were created at the core state. General Gowan was a little betrayer. He made the North equal to the South by 660. From General Muhammad, uh, Murtala Mohammed, that changed. The North started having a head over the South. And that has continued. Now, one of the people that had fought for the restoration and the restructuring of this country is President Ahmed Bola Tinubu. And that's one of the things that endeared me to him. His fight for the restoration of the federal nature of the Nigerian state. Today we are suffering. The Jaws are suffering, the Chekris are suffering, the Robots are suffering, the Ogonis are suffering. And all the oil bearing states are suffering because their resources were confiscated by the unitary government of the Nigerian state now I'm based in Abuja. And they just give us pitas. They pity us and give us some things. They owe us a favor to give us whatever they like from our resources. And this level of injustice has become very apparent and obvious. It has become very clear for all of us to see. Today, in Zamfara, they are mining gold. Even the state government is involved in mining this gold. Central Bank is even buying the gold from Zamfara. But the gold in Zamfara does not belong to the people of Nigeria. It belongs exclusively to the people of Zamfara. We are not talking of illegal mining. We are now talking of Zamfara State mining. The former governor of Zamfara State, who is the Minister for State for Defense, even carried the gold and met former President Muhammad Buhari. And the Central Bank had been buying gold from Zamfara. And then we ask the question, why would hydrocarbon found in Imo State, in Abia State, in River State, in Aquaidon State, in Edo State, in Bayaza State, in Delta, belong to the whole of Nigeria. But the gold found in Zamfara does not belong to the whole of Nigeria. It belongs to Zamfara alone and alone. Now, the framers of the constitution of Nigeria, why pretending that Nigeria is a federation, created wide gullies inside that constitution? Created wide gullies and contradictions in the constitution. Now, the constitution of Nigeria in chapter 1, section 2, subsection 1, and sub and subsection 1 and subsection 2 states, Nigeria is one indivisible, indivisible and indissoluble sovereign state to be known by the name of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That Nigeria shall be a federation of states and a federal capital territory. Subsection 2. So this is where Nigeria starts and ends, according to the Constitution, that the federating units
at the center, the Omnibus Center, the 36 states, and Abuja, the federal capital territory. The Supreme Court of Nigeria ought to know the intention of the uh, drafters of this constitution. If the justices of the Supreme Court are not aware of the intention of the drafters of this constitution, then Nigeria is in a big mess. And from the pronouncement of the Supreme Court, it clearly shows that they are unaware of the intention and the drafters of this constitution. It is sad very, very sad that this same constitution went on to list local government. Went on to talk about local government. And the question is, These local governments, are they also federating units? The question is, Are they also federating unit? That's the question. If they are not federating units, what are they? We are traveling on a dangerous path. We are traveling on a dangerous path. And this is taking us far beyond what Ironsi did in 1966 with the promulgation of Degree 34, the confiscation and the abolishing of regions and the Federation of Nigeria, which has persisted today. And this judgment is another blow to the federal nature, the pretentious federal nature of the Nigerian state. It has totally altered the federal nature of the Nigerian state forever. The powers of the state have been confiscated. The powers of the state have been totally confiscated. Because the local government ought not to be part of the constitution. Local government have no business being part of the constitution. So the inclusion of the names of local government in the constitution is a total aberration. The inclusion
of local government in the constitution is a total aberration and it was there for the purpose of circumventing and sabotaging the federal nature of the Nigerian state. If there was anything like the federal nature. People are applauding the judgment of the Supreme Court. This is the most laughable thing for anybody from River State. Abia State, or your state, Benway State, laughing and celebrating local government. Local government ought not to be in the Constitution. There is no basis for local government to be in the Constitution. No basis whatsoever. And it's a total aberration and negation of the status of a federation of the Nigerian state. Now, people say that state government governors have been tampering with the funds of local government. Right. There's no doubt about it. Every one of us, every one of us, should lift up our voice against the pilfering and tempering with local government funds by state governors. If the anti-corruption laws are working, if they are effective, efficient, and they are working, and there are no sacred cows, Nobody will pilfer with the form, funds of local government. But even the creation of local government and inclusion in the constitution is an apparition and it goes against the federal status of Nigeria, the federal nature of Nigeria. Local government should be a creation of states. First and foremost, if there is going to be a constitutional amendment, the constitution should be amended and remove the local government. Because today we are celebrating what will take us to the gallows. How many local governments are in River State? What was the criteria used in creating river, local governments? Why will River State that is more populated than Aquaibo have less local government than Aquaibo? Why will River State that is more populated than Anambra have less local government than Anambra State? Why will River State that is less populated than Lagos have more local government than Lagos. What was the criteria for creating local government? This local government is a scam. And it has no business, there is no business for local government to be included in the constitution. And this is, this judgment is the war judgment against the people of the Federation of Nigeria. But people will not see it today. Today, after many years, we are crying of Decree 34. That is the same way tomorrow we will cry about this evil judgment that the Supreme Court has given. Now they are talking of conducting election by federal government. An election, a federal government should set up a body, they will conduct election so that the government in power, Nigeria will move to a one-party state. Because the electoral process will be, will, will be manipulated by the government at the center, at the expense of the government at the state level. So the question we are asking, this 700 and something abnormality called local government, are they also federating units? 
Why would their form come straight from the federal government? They have no business having from. They are not a federating unit. They are a total misnomer and a scam. Why will Ghana have 44 local government? When Lagos is more populated than Kano and Lagos have 20 local government. These are the questions we must ask ourselves. What was the criteria used in creating this local government? What was the criteria used in creating states? It was just by military fiat. Just by military fiat. And today the Supreme Court that ought to look at the law and read the law had gone to deliver this barbaric evil judgment. Let's be celebrating it. What it consign me? And the local government. But the same way we are crying of decree 34. That is the same way we will this judgment will lead Nigeria to a unitary state where all powers will reside in Abuja. And Abuja will make decisions, elections will be manipulated in, in states not controlled by this thing. And at the end of the day, they will take all the local government from the hands of the states. I think the state governors, even if you are in the same party, with the party at the center, if you are a governor and you are not in good terms with the person at the center, the president at the center, forget it. Forget it. They will plant local government chairmen. They will plant their cronies at the council thank you for watching that video so guys before you leave look at the top here you will see where the road subscribe just subscribe to this great platform and also put on sean bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So, guys, see you guys some other time.